we got the CDs, the portable speakers, the boombox, high five, boys to men and shy. Where are you guys going camping? Backstage at the Apollo? All this stuff just shows how diverse we are. Plus the fact that we like a lot of different things. <laughs> Slap on a smile Come out and walk in the sun for a while Don't fight the feeling You know you want to have a good time And in my opinion, nation The sun is gonna surely shine to pick up Rhonda. And Six is coming over. We've got a humongous amount of catching up to do. I'm going to tell her all about Paris. Well, the fridge is fully stocked, so help yourself. Thanks, Dad. Actually, I've been doing that since I lived here. <laughs> Isn't it pitiful? They get to eat what's inside a box, and Dad, we get to eat what's inside a fish. Yeah, Joe. <laughs> Yeah, I mean so. Thanks. This is so cool. So, Dad, do you think there'll be any lady campers in our neck of the woods? Uh, I doubt it, Joe. Yeah, but it's possible, right? No, it's not possible. <laughs> really? Really, it's not possible. You still want to go? Yeah, I got a magazine. <laughs> All right, let's hit the road. Sure you got everything? Aspirin, band-aids, toilet paper? We got everything. Stop being such a mom, okay? You got the fishing poles? Do we got the fishing poles? <laughs> no. God, we haven't done this in a long time. Hey, parking isn't just for kids. It's also good for really, really immature adults. Well, I guess that's us, too. Certainly is an apt description of me. She that had a kind of ominous ring to it. Well, since you brought it up, you, uh, remember my old friend Tiffany? Sure, the rich bitch. <laughs> anyway, a couple weeks ago, gave her a ride to the movies in the ambulance. In the ambulance? It was all I had at the time. That was just a ride. Go on. Oh, I just took her over there and told her how incredibly shallow I thought she was. And that's it, huh? That is it. Well, don't do it again, okay? I have no intention of doing it again. Fine. We did make out a little bit. <laughs> what? It was totally unexpected. It was completely spontaneous. We were fighting, then we were kissing, then it was over. Are you kidding me? Uh, no. But it was nothing, Rhonda. And it was a momentary, impulsive thing. Sort of like a very enthusiastic handshake. So it was just a purely physical attraction that just seized you? Well, yeah. Well, I guess I can understand that. Oh, thank God. Oh, good. I'm so glad you can understand it. How can you understand it? <laughs> what do you mean, how? I just can, that's all. I mean, you're not the only one these things happen to. What do you mean by that? I don't want to talk about it. Well, I do. Did you have a... physical attraction with someone? I guess you could call it that. Who was he? It was just some guy I met when I was in New York. It was nothing. Well, if it was nothing, why didn't you tell me about it? I told you about my nothing. It wasn't worth mentioning. It was just like a very enthusiastic handshake. That's all. <laughs> well. 
Okay. <laughs> Very enthusiastic. <laughs> so there I am in Paris, right? And I'm like standing there on this bridge between the two of them. Here's Vinny and here's Laurent. Oh my God. So Laurent says, maybe I better go. And I say, okay, yeah. And Vinny says, well, now I know it's really over, blah, blah, blah. And he just walks away. Wow. It's pretty intense. But it all worked out okay. It's more than okay. This is it, Six. I am so completely in love with Vinny. It's like off the scale. I mean, I thought I was in love before, but that was just kid stuff. This, this is the genuine article. Yeah, but what if it's not, though? But it is. Yeah, but you felt that way before, right? I mean, you said so yourself. All I'm saying is, what if it just keeps getting, like, more and more intense? Six, listen to me. If it got any more intense than this, my head would explode. Oh, that is so beautiful. <laughs> uh-huh. So you guys did it, huh? I didn't say that. Well, you said you spent the night together, right? We did. So you spend the whole night with a guy you're in love with in Paris. Your father's an entire continent away. Your mother's loaning you lingerie and you're telling me you didn't do it? What am I, an idiot? <laughs> there are just some things that I'd like to keep private, that's all. Oh, uh, what? Even from me? Even from you? Well, I would tell you everything. I'll even show you the video if I take one. <laughs> Spare me, okay? Don't worry, it doesn't look like it's ever gonna happen anyway. You want one? No. What is this, you're drinking now? No, it's just a beer. So, it's got alcohol in it, doesn't it? Look, Blossom, don't start going parental on me, okay? My dad left cases of this stuff in the cellar. It's his legacy, I'm just... Consuming my inheritance, that's all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm not in charge of your life. There you go. Now tell me more about this Laurent character. Do you have any pictures? Oh, um, let me see. Oh, here he is. I hate you. <laughs> I really hate this. <sighs> well, this is rough on it, Joe. This is life in the great outdoors. Well, I think it sucks. Of course it sucks. Why do you think people buy houses? <laughs> Come on, Joe. Hey, Dad. You're like wild bugs out here or something. Uh, put some more of this stuff on. God, this stuff better not screw up my hair. Joe. Joe, you're in a tent in the woods. Who's going to notice your hair? Okay. What if an incredibly gorgeous park ranger lady who just took a bath in a nearby stream happens to be walking by, trips on a log, sprains her ankle, and needs a place to sleep? <laughs> your hair looks fine, Joe. Things will be better tomorrow. Let me ask you a question, okay? Okay. Did you know there wasn't going to be any electricity out here? Yes, I did. Then why did you let me drag all my equipment out here into Jurassic Park? Well, Joe, I assumed you'd bring batteries. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm supposed to know all about this wilderness stuff. Who do I look like, Dad? Debbie Boom? <laughs> Joe, so, let's do this. Let's finish our dinner, turn off the lights, and get some sleep. And in the morning, we'll be out on that river fishing. Okay? No, not okay, Dad. And why not? It's 7.30. Kids in nursery school stay up later than this. <laughs> Joe, I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt here, but the fact is you're acting like a big baby. I'm not. R2. I'm not. R... Look, I refuse to do this. I thought this would be fun. Obviously, I was wrong. 
Now, it's too late to drive back tonight, but at the first hint of dawn, we'll pack up our things and head back so you can listen to your precious CDs, okay? Come on, Dad, you can't tell me you're actually enjoying this. Well, I might have a chance to if I wasn't stuck with a whining infant. Okay. <laughs> maybe you're right. No, maybe about it. Okay, fine, you're right, okay? I'm sorry. I don't mean to spoil what I guess is a really great time for an old guy. <laughs> This tent leaks? I doubt it. It's brand new. It's possible that. There's a good reason for that, Six. You are completely and totally empty. <laughs> oh, God. Which way is the floor? Okay, take it easy. Your second leg is right here. Okay. I really appreciate this, Blossom. <laughs> yep, I really do. Yes, sir. That's my baby. doesn't it? Yeah, I've always liked the sound of rain. I think the world is divided between people who do and people who don't. Yeah, just like the beach. Mm. Some people hate the sand and stuff. Me? I couldn't imagine living away from the ocean. Yeah, me neither. I don't get out there as often as I'd like to, but just knowing that it's there makes me feel better. I'm that way with beautiful naked women. <laughs> Just knowing that they were out there makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> so, seeing your problems coming up, huh? Yeah, sure is. Well, were you taking it? Nope. A couple of guys are talking about going together. You know, the stag group. Really? Yeah, a bunch of girls, too. Sort of takes off all that stupid pressure, you know? Mm. And that's not such a bad idea. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll find the right girl. I don't know. Sometimes it amazes me that anybody survives the growing up process. Yeah, it's really tough, isn't it? Oh, man. And it's a lot worse for you guys than it was for me. In my day, everybody smoked cigarettes. Drinking wasn't so bad. Red meat was good. And people were having sex every place you looked. <laughs> but... There was a horrible war going on. We had developed a disturbing tendency to kill our best people. And somewhere, somebody was giving birth to Polly Shore. <laughs> well, I don't pretend to understand any of it, Dan. Me neither. The older I get, the less I know. Sure, but that doesn't happen to me. <laughs> it can't. Hey, Dad, can I ask you a hypocritical question? Uh, I'm sure you can, but I'd prefer it if you asked me a hypothetical one. Okay. Why is there something so wrong if a guy dates a girl who's got a really bad reputation? No, there isn't necessarily. No, Dad, I'm talking a really bad reputation. Does this guy like this girl? Oh, yeah. I mean as a person. Because some girls in school get reputations who really don't deserve them. Oh, see, that, that's where we get into a little bit of trouble. Because 
the way I see it is, any girl who's willing to do it with me is a nice person, okay? That's a dick. <laughs> I'm just not real sure how I'm going to deal with the flack I'm going to get for going out with her. I can't help you. I'm just making conversation anyway. <laughs> She's booked till the year 2000. <laughs> Good night, Joe. Good night, Dad. Hey, Dad. Yeah, Joe. I'm really glad we took this trip. Me too. Three questions tonight, okay? Things are not okay with you guys? Things are a little shaky. It could go either way. <clears throat> What's the problem? The problem is the same problem I've always had. I find it very difficult to relate to other human beings. <laughs> yeah, they're a tough breed to deal with. Yeah, I used to think everything would be okay if everyone were perfect, like me. I have also felt that way. Hey, we're family. Yeah, but then I started to develop, what would you call them? Flaws. Yes. Yes, me too. Little, tiny flaws. Mine were tiny too. Tiny little fissures on the surface of my perfection. But then they started to crack and spread like ice fracturing on a frozen pond. The sounds of snapping and popping shattering the still winter night. <laughs> As my character flaws disturbed the formerly placid veneer of my life. See, I never had any snapping or popping. <laughs> well, you're young. <laughs> See, the thing is, it's hard enough just getting through this life dealing with your own crap, much less somebody else's. Yeah. Now, it seems to me that no matter what you want, people are pretty much going to do what they want. And getting anyone to agree on anything is close to impossible. So, come on. What's this all about? She cheated on me. Really? Not really. I guess she flirted on me. But I flirted on her, too, see? But at least I had the decency to be guilty enough to confess. Well, I've done a little sport flirting in my time, too, and I think it's just indicative of something much deeper that's wrong. You're such a comfort to me, Blossom. Go to bed. <laughs> Sorry. I'm kidding. So, you glad to be home? Well, it's weird. I mean, I had myself all geared up to stay in Paris, you know? It's weird, that's all. I hear you. Things are changing so fast. People, I'll be a senior pretty soon. It's weird. You're saying Things are changing so fast. People, I'll be a senior pretty soon. It's weird. You're saying it's weird, huh? It's weird. <laughs> really glad I've got Benny. Yeah. yeah, he does seem like a decent guy. He's the best. Nobody knows it, but he is. I'm happy for you. I just hope you don't end up getting hurt. Well, I've thought about that. You know, when you open yourself up to somebody like this, it can be bad, but the thing is, I wouldn't change this for anything in the world. You did a beautiful job wrapping this present. It's a work of art. It's for you. Thanks. Cool. A beret. I got it in Paris for you. How do I look? <laughs> I think you're perfect again. How's it make my nose look? <laughs> smaller. Really? Well, smaller than the hat. <laughs> Did 
to get one for yourself. <laughs> Do you know how much money Michael Jordan's making? No. Man, I should have been a tall black basketball wizard. Passed up that opportunity, huh? <laughs> Aspirin. Cabinet next to the sink. What did Tony say about all this stuff at six? I didn't mention it to him. I mean, he's got his own problems. So what should I do? Just make sure it's not our first day working a forklift, all right? <laughs> no, I mean to help her with this. Shouldn't I get her to AA or something? No, you should mind your own business. Vinny, she's my friend. That's all the more reason to butt out. That doesn't seem right. Look, you told her how you feel about her boozing, right? Yeah. But then that's it. If she keeps it up, you've always got the choice to stop hanging out with her. Yeah, but that feels like I'm just leaving her out there to twist in the wind or something. Look, I'm not real big on slogans and stuff, but, you know, one thing they say is that you can't deny someone their desperation. If she needs to drag herself down, then, you know, as tough as it feels, you've got to let her do it. One bottle of beer on the wall, one bottle of beer, you take one down, pass it around, no. That's the first time I've ever finished that song. Me too. I, I guess it really helps if you only start with ten bottles of beer on the wall. <laughs> it sure does, Joe. Listen, Dad, I'm going to go put this stuff away. Thanks for a really great time. Yeah, we'll do it again. Hey, and maybe next time we'll actually do some fishing. Yeah, maybe. And maybe next time we'll uh, meet a park ranger whose ankle doesn't collapse under the sheer magnitude of her own weight. <laughs> <laughs> she was a big girl, wasn't she? He's all outdoors. <laughs> hey, Joe. Joey. Look, uh, I know it's getting harder for us to do stuff together, so uh, I appreciate this weekend. I know it's not exactly your kind of thing. Hey. Come here. <laughs> I'm here for you. You know that, Dad? Yeah, I know. Now, what do you say we go put this stuff away and go grab a pizza, okay? Okay, Joe. That's my boy. <laughs> um, this is ridiculous. Let's either split up or get past this, huh? Fine with me. So? So? So which is it? Are we splitting or getting back? Well, which do you want? Which do you want? I asked you first. Oh, this is ridiculous. Let's get past this, okay? Fine. So what do you want to do? Why do I get to make this decision? Somebody's got to make a decision. So go ahead. Let's get back together. Really? Yeah. Yeah, really. You're sure you're not just saying this? No, I'm sure. Plus, it's a lot easier than sitting here deciding who's going to make the decision. So is that why you said it? Just to make a decision? <sighs> no. Look... I love you. I love you, too. And I don't want to just throw away everything we've had. Me neither. Okay. Good. So we're back on track here, right? Yes, absolutely. <clears throat> Boy, that's a relief sure is. Feel a lot better now. Me too. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. We're gonna miss the previews. You know I hate to miss the previews. I know, I know. Just one sec, I've got to put on some lipstick. Feel free to use this opportunity to tell me in great detail exactly what you did with Vinny. I told you, Six, it's none of your business. You know, I hate this. I know more about Katie Lang's sex life than yours. 
Would you please hurry up? I'll get it. Okay. No, I've just been three steps behind all day. I swear I will never drink again. God, I still feel awful. Okay, I look almost human. Let's go. Are you okay? Huh? Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, shall we go? Yeah, I don't want to miss the previews. Won't miss them, I promise.